Many millennials are starting out their first year of college, but there are plenty of others who are taking a gap year. According to a recent survey, more than a third of high school students think about taking a gap year. The rest are liars. I think every, <laughs> wouldn't everybody just think about, about it? it? And what they hope to get out of that gap year might be different for men or women. But let's first just explain what a gap year is. This is kind of a relatively new term, especially for the United States, pretty popular in Europe. But essentially, instead of going straight from high school into college, you take a year off and travel or work or do something along those lines. And now there's a, another kind of gap year that people are saying, and that's after college, before going into the workforce. And so a couple of different studies are coming out recently. and. The fun one, I think, is the difference men and women take this gap year. And this is the one after college. 20% of men say they're more open because they're looking for love. They said Crazy. if it meant that they would meet their love, yes. they would put off entering the workforce. Yeah. I tell you what, if, if, if I didn't, I mean, I met my now wife in college, yes. but if I were still single leaving college, if you could guarantee And your parents that, would have funded a world, a trip around the world well, for you to meet a gal, I'll right, Jason? What, I'm going to call them right now. Yeah, you don't have to call them. It would be I, a big yeah. sad <laughs> no. It would get, uh, get I mean, your butt to work. You know, I, but I, if, the, if it's set up that way, Esme, we guarantee you will meet uh, Well, that's ridiculous. And, and the cost is crazy. I mean, I've got a kid who will be in college next year. We're already looking at the cost. He gets out of college. He's going to find a job. Going to start working. I, right I do away. think in Europe, though, this is a thing where a, a very high percentage of kids do take the, the year off between mm -hmm. high school and college. Colleges are cheaper there, and it's seen as you don't sort have of that debt. and we and yeah. they don't yeah. have the debt. Well, and traveling's a, a little problem. bit different when you're already living in Europe. You know, you think about kind of like traveling around the United States, taking a, like a road trip going through. Does this feed into the idea that like the millennial generation is just kind of? Hudson around? No, I don't think so. I think that this shows the millennials are really valuing the experiences that you get from traveling because there is a lot that you learn right, when you're traveling. Highly, on they your travel own. and then what? They spend the next five years in their parents' basement trying to figure out what they want to do. Fair, I mean, fair thing to say. <laughs> I don't know why it takes a year. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, I think that I think the idea the of semester. this is brilliant. Yeah. Yes, but and more and more young people are studying abroad, which I think is. Awesome. Like yeah. it really rounds up your education. In many colleges, included in the absolutely absurd cost of going to college, they will include that's, like so a that's semester why I was abroad. Able to go. It was cheaper for me to live in Italy than to live in Boulder, Colorado. I think they should, that. That. they should do that. They should do that. Wild? And then get to work. Yes. yes. But the women don't do it for love. No, they do it because they want to find independence. Girl. Eh, yeah, love is out there, for too, you. for women. I don't know. That just comes along. I don't know if love is the right term for what people are looking for on their travels abroad. Who's to say? I mean. Who's to say? <laughs>